Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Second Samuel chapter 5 tonight. David has finally become king over all of Israel. And it's taken a long time for him to get there. Just to read the verse, starting in verse 4, so Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 4. David was 30 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 40 years. In Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem, he reigned 33 years over all Israel and Judah. So, for 33 years, he reigned over the entire kingdom. For seven and a half years, he only reigned over Judah. Just one tribe. That's it. And then it has to do with the timing of the Lord and the callings that the Lord has on our lives. And of course, keep in mind that Samuel anointed him king over Israel while Saul was still king. So several years transpired before David um, became king over Israel. Whenever the Lord tells us to do something, it's not something that like you just go out and immediately, okay, I'm going to be this, I'm going to do this, it's done, it's finished, yay, let's go, woo! No, it's nothing like that. When the Lord calls us to do something, then there are several years of equipping, of training, of getting used to. And of course, after, Sam after David was anointed king by Samuel, he was invited, he then stepped up, he killed Goliath, he then, and before he even killed Goliath, he was summoned by Saul to play his harp over Saul whenever that spirit of affliction came upon him. So you have him being a harp player in the court of Saul, kills Goliath, he then becomes a part, obviously the guy is amazingly strong, he fights well, he's a good soldier, so Saul brings him into the army, and then um, he gets promoted in the army, becomes a commander and a captain, he then um, goes on to marry Mitchell, Saul's daughter, then he's thrown into exile. Then he becomes king over Judah, and then he becomes king over all of Israel, according to the prophecy. So there were several years of learning, several years of growth. God was establishing a foundation for David in order for him to reign over Israel well, and in order for him to learn how to trust in the Lord, his God, and in order to become the king that God wanted him to be. It was a long, long process, which really... Part of, part of us kind of thinks, oh my gosh, it, that takes forever. That's so just, ugh. But really, that is some excellent and good news because that means God takes his time with us. He doesn't rush us into things. He doesn't force us to do things immediately upon calling us to do it. We may have some amazingly huge calling on our life. And it's not like all of a sudden, okay, well, I've got to make sure that I have my plane booked to 30 different nations over the course of the next year because God's called me to be this great missionary and evangelist. No, you take these things a step at a time. Step by step, he will lead you. And step by step, you should follow him. He gives us time to learn. He gives us time to draw close to him. He gives us time to get used to the gifts that he's given us. He gives us time to get used to the people that we'll be working with, the environments we'll be working in. All these things take time, and God does. He, of course, he could just be like, you know, done. You know, Adam and Eve were created as full-grown adults. But usually what the Lord does is he doesn't just, okay, full-grown, out you go. Usually there is a process of developing of learning, of growing, and then there eventually comes that time of graduation and actually going out. So, it's a process. And whenever the Lord tells you to do something, yet yeah, sometimes, like, you need to immediately do whatever it is He's telling you to do. But whenever you hear about some big call or some big thing the Lord wants you to do, normally there's going to be a process involved there. So don't rush, and don't try to do it in your own strength. Let the Lord work His perfect will in you, and wait on his timing in order to do things his way, the right way. Because if you, if you do it in your strength and you rush into it, it's like, well, I'm called of God to do this. That doesn't mean it's necessarily his time. 
his timing is very, very important. That's something else that needs to be given grave consideration. Because if you rush into one of his works and he's not in it, then you're in trouble. Then you're in for a world of hurt because at that point the Lord is not with you. And even though the calling is right, the timing is not. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.